Hey guys, how's it going? It's Epic and today I'm going to do another FIFA 17 experiment where I put Rangers and Celtic into the Premier League. This should be very interesting so please hit that like button right now. Anyway, before I do that I'm going to show you how to swap a team. So what you do is you press triangle or Y on the team you want to first uh, pick the team that's going to leave the league you've selected. Then pick the team you want to swap with that team you've selected and then you'll swap the teams if that makes any sense hopefully you can follow what I'm doing right now but the main thing is to get onto the bit where you select which team you're going to select for the career mode then press Y or triangle and like select the team you want to swap with that team it's very simple and hopefully you can do this too in your own spare time okay then so after season one or we've, well, yeah after season one we've got Celtic and Rangers their squads are right here not too bad, and Rangers do make a transfer, Demonte goes there, and Castro goes there, but Griezmann from Atletico Madrid to Man United for 79.5 million, what is going on, but Castro has gone to Rangers, he should be decent, but he's quite old, so he probably won't stay in the side for quite a long time, but Bossert has gone to Celtic, a 31 year old keeper, and Mokleviet has gone to Rangers 24, so he should improve in the future, hopefully. 2.5 million from Zenit, quite an expensive transfer, but Celtic comes 16, which is quite good. You know, 37 points, not bad at all, and they're going to stay in the Premier League for next season. But Rangers have been relegated, they came last in the league. You can see there's a 16 point difference between Celtic and Rangers, so the teams are vastly different. Anyway, Nothing really happens between the two teams in the FA Cup, but Man City do win that, which is quite nice. Then they're beating Stoke 2 0. And again, oh, actually, no. Celtic do finish in the round of 16, uh, but they lose to Sunderland 2 1. So that's the first sort of appearance for those two teams in the Cup so far. And I don't think there's going to anything happen in, in the other sort of tournaments. Yeah, Paris Saint Germain win that, but it's not really that exciting considering that Rangers and Celtic are nowhere near this right now. Anyway, Man United win the EuroLeague, quite nice to see that, my favourite team. And Celtic in Division 2, not Division 2, Season 2, sorry. Uh, they've got an half decent team, but Rangers have got definitely a worse team. We'll see if they can get promoted now in Division 2, really, in England. So Celtic, unfortunately, do get relegated. They get six points less than last season. But Rangers, fourth place, not too bad at all. And again, no appearance of Rangers or Celtic in the FA Cup. But no appearance again, or not again, but no appearance in the EFL Cup. So Kennedy goes from Stevenage to Rangers, £775,000. Good for him. And Celtic squad, oh, Tierney's now not 60 rate plays, now jumped out, that's quite nice. Lustig's, I think, is going down. Brown's the only 68 rate player in that squad, I think, there to see there. And Rangers, not too bad either, but they are slowly improving, I think, with Forrester. And. Looking at their squad, they, they do alright. Fourth place, again. But Celtic this time, beating them. Third place. And Man United win the FA Cup. Celtic do lose to Man City. Unfortunately for that draw. And Celtic lose to the Spurs. Two difficult draws in a round of 16 of the domestic cups with Rangers losing to West Brom in the quarterfinals. Not too bad at all. Rangers squad now, you know, it's looking half decent. It is looking half decent. They're the Premier League teams I picked them first this time. And we'll see if they get relegated, or, relegated again or not. And uh, yeah, Celtic here. Day is probably their worst player, I think. Looking at that, yes, he is. He's definitely dropping his ratings. But Rangers come 19th. Better than last time, though. They came 20th last time. So this time, 19th is not as bad. And oh, Celtic still not getting an automatic promotion. But I reckon they're going to get promoted, though, through playoffs at some point. Nothing happening there with these two teams, and again, Rangers and Celtic don't feature in the Cups very much. Now, Season 5, we see Day getting a two upgrade, Lustig got in a massive downgrade, Bossett's also downgraded as well. Uh, as you can see, Forrest has got downgrades, and oh, McLeavitt's now featuring the side, and Celtic do finally avoid relegation for a second time now, 17th place, 32 points, not too bad at all. They shouldn't be seeing the Championship much anymore, hopefully, anyway. But, uh, you know, doing alright. Only 8 wins, though. We need to improve on that. Now, Rangers. Ooh, 10th place. Not very good at all. 66 points. Not that great. They need to improve on that in Season 6. But, Season 5, FA Cup doesn't show much. And, EFL Cup. Oh, Rangers lose to Man United. 
in the semi-final, 4-1 on aggregate. That's not bad at all, that, across two games. And to say they're pretty much the best in Europe winning the Super Cup, Man United are just awesome. So, Celtic here. Days improved again. Luster getting a huge free downgrade there. But Dembele up there. Dembele's got an 83 rate card. That's very nice to see. Uh, nothing really happening there. A few downgrades and a few upgrades. It's very, very similar, really. So, I expect a similar position this time. Uh, we have Celtic, 16th place, not that special, and Rangers, 4th place, so they managed to improve from last season. And in the FA Cup, Chelsea win that, and there's no Scottish teams in that, I don't think. Nope, there is not. Against Spurs, that would have been a great game, that. Oh, and Celtic do get into the quarterfinals, but they lose to champions of the EFL Cup, Leicester. Interesting stuff. All right. So season seven, we see Ondoa going to Celtic from Nastic for 2.7 million. I think that's the biggest transfer we've got so far. And Ripley for 900,000, another goalkeeper. Interesting. Uh, Bossert again, that in down downgraded. Oh, Luster again. Look at that, 58 raid. It's awful there. Oh, no. And uh, yeah, Hudson's there. Wycorn. Yeah, it's, it's not too bad at all. And you've got 14 place there. Definitely improving each season. And Rangers, their worst finish so far. 13th place. 57 points. That is atrocious. What is going on? Now, in the FA Cup, no Scottish teams in there. No Rage and Celtic in the EFL Cup either. So, Cups have done well for Season 7 for them, have they? Anyway, Bossett's getting another downgrade. Lutz is getting another downgrade. And the play's actually helping that much. Uh, same, really. Wycon's getting a massive downgrade as well. Oh, Chelsea, 95 points. They've absolutely smashed it. And Celtic come 13th, nice stuff, and Rangers come 10th. So back to their performance of two seasons ago. Interesting. All right, Celtic this time get to the semi-final. Lose to Chelsea 2-0. That's a very good performance from them. That's very, very nice to see. And no Rangers, though. They're lagging behind Celtic, though. But that's good. And Man United win another cup. They must win so much stuff. It's incredible. EA loves them. EA loves Man United. And the key goes to Rangers for 1.5 million from Stevenage. You're getting a lot of plays from Stevenage, aren't they? And look at that. They've got Janko. They've got Dembele. They're, this, they're definitely their best team. And they've got Tini with 81 rated. Remember, he's about 65 rated when he first started. Dodu, 70 rated. Forrester, 62. He's gone down that like, every season. Ah, uh, so looking at this. Celtic come 11th place. Not bad at all. 45 points. I'm happy with that. You know, they've managed to get from 17th at the first season all the way up to... 11th or whatever it was. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is very good, actually. 12 wins of the highest amount of wins they've got. Now, Rangers only come 8th, but they have improved since last season, so that's nice. 71 points, and it, they're going up and down a bit. They're not really very consistent. But Leicester win another cup, win the FA Cup, and no Scottish teams in the EFL Cup. But season 10, we have Masonda from the Chelsea team going to Celtic as well. And, you know... This team just seems to get worse and worse. Each player I'm looking at is getting lower ratings every season. Uh, Celtic, 10th place. That's even better. They've got a respectful mid-table position there. And Rangers, third. They might not get promoted, though. But whatever happens, they've got a decent position a number of times in the Championship, which is very nice to see. Celtic lose to Middlesbrough in the FA Cup. And they lose to Middlesbrough in the quarterfinal of the EFL Cup. What a coincidence that is. Very interesting. Derby County winning it. Why Derby winning it? That's weird. Uh, Masanda's got an upgrade, and the other players have stayed quite similar, but this is their best team with Fox in there as well now. So it's very nice for that. And Rangers, again, it's getting worse. Each, each player's getting worse, I think, each time, but it's just how it goes. And we're going to look at the table. And we have Celtic coming 20th. They have the best team they've ever had, and they've come 20th. There's something going wrong there. I don't know what is going on. Maybe a bad manager, maybe, but they haven't performed very well. And Rangers, again, didn't perform very well. So Man United win that and Swan. Oh, Celtic gets the final of that. That's very nice. Losing to Swansea 3 2. Not bad at all. So, as you can see, it's been quite interesting. You can see that Celtic and Rangers, they can compete in the Premier League sometimes and definitely stay a championship ball ahead of that. So, that's not bad at all. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. I really love the support and uh, keep watching these videos. It's great. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Bye!